it smelled like uh, peanut butter in a better way. But today we're going to look at the ecliptic. Scent is pretty subjective to the smeller. Welcome to the Nomadic King channel. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today I'm joined with okay. We're gonna be doing an artisan shave soap review, and today's artisan is Hub City Soap Company. This is the Egyptus. In these shave soap reviews, we're doing a few things. We're taking a look at the label, taking a look at some product info. We're gonna be smelling the soap, checking out the scent notes, blooming it, lather, and a shave at the end. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Yo, Ching. I'm ready. Grab your soap bowl, sit shave. back, and let's enjoy the show. This week's wet shave shout out's going to Casey Shave and Fragrance. He's just getting started out there, show him some support. He's very well spoken and a great guy. Now as you look around the sides here, we do have some separation of the soap to the tin. Other than that, the soap is looking pretty good. As we get the aftershave bottle, we have the same logo. It is a tinted bottle with a reducer. Let me know what you guys think about that logo and label in the comments down below. I took a scoop and as you can see it's darker on the inside and the soap is breaking up during the bloom. Welcome back from the up close look at the product and label. This is the Raider Base soap and they're saying it's packed with a lot of good things for your skin like beef and pig tallow, cocoa butter, shea butter, and some goat milk to top it off. We have a top note of jasmine and ozone, mid body of leather, tonka, sandalwood, and patchouli, a light finish of musk, amber, and powder on the end. Very complex scent, and uh, almost smells like chocolate to me. Okay, she's saying this smells like cocoa butter, or peanut butter, but, uh, but it's sweet as we've done some of these reviews and I've smelled a lot more since this is actually better or more pleasing than I thought it definitely has it feels like a chocolate to me to be honest even though there's no chocolate notes it definitely has that like creamy creamy something there like she's saying like a peanut butter yeah because um it's a little bit of like a like a sweet sense from mm. these peanut butter. Wow, now when we open this up, I get a lot of that taco bean. Smell that. Oh, I think it's uh, like a little coffee bean or some kind of little bean. I like right? the smell of these. Like a vanilla like bean almost, like a vanilla is a tonka. I, yeah, this like smells can... way better. Yeah. It's sweeter. Yeah. This right here, you got all your, all your sugars right here. Mmm, that's sweet. I really good. like this. This is really that powdery, powdery, uh, solid base that you're gonna want. I can't yeah. even think that they're related. I thought I was gonna come out here and say this is the worst soap I have in my bunch, especially since we've got the separation from the tin to the soap, mm -hmm. which looks like it's kind of dried out a little bit. Blended with highest quality ingredients and essential oils, so. But that, I mean, I see that on almost well, every one of these sites. This one actually has grown on me. I think I'm gonna enjoy better. this. Yeah, you can wear it like a grown up. Oh, oh like it. yeah. And after shaves, I feel like are kind of a surprise in these shave soap reviews. Kind of a little special bonus, to be honest. So we're gonna go to the shave den. We got some of this soap bloomed up back there. We're gonna smell it. See how it smells after it's bloomed. We're gonna lather it up and then. Uh, we're gonna shave. Anything you want to add to this, Miss Yochi? Yeah, this scent is a comforting, comfortable kind of uh, scent. Now this is a complete breakdown of the soap. I mean, we've got some darker spots, some lighter spots, and some sort of gel looking stuff. I do swirl it and it is uh, creating a bubble. And as you can see, we do get a lather out of it. Kind of freaked me out at first, but it didn't smell weird. It was just kind of off-putting to see it broken up like that. Now, I do add way too much water to each one of my lathers for some reason. I haven't learned yet. So we are trying to get some of that water out and we're gonna whip it up, get a creamier, thicker lather right here. So this is the one we're gonna use. Let me know what you guys think about this angle in the comments down below. Should I keep it? Should I change it? Should we go back to just whipping up in the shaved in? Um, you know, let me know what you think. All right, this is what we got going on here. A little puff ball. It's uh, kind of foamy because I always do my soap way too watery. What do you think? What's that smelling like? You like? Mmm. Mmm or mmm? Yeah, it's half <laughs> your coffee. Uh, what do you guys think? Did you like doing the overview of swirling or would you rather have me just do this and show it to you all the time? 
you guys let me know in the comments down below. Pretty much it. This is where I uh, go ahead and take my shirt off and I shave because that's why that's how I like to shave. So if you're done with the soap review, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're willing to watch man shave at the end of a soap review, then uh, let's proceed. Got some hot water on the face. I got my bird ringing a bell, ding dong and a bell in the background. So uh, let's get rolling with this, huh? We've got the standard Vikings blade brush. I just like it. I don't know why. I just like it. Oh, I am terrible at putting this stuff on my face. Not bad. I mean, it's not like a... Uh, it's not super thick. It had me kind of worried just the way the soap is separated. Okay. We're doing the holy black and we are rocking one of these shark blades. This is a super chrome blade. Let's get this shave on. See how this uh this soap does and we can get to the aftershave. Right now it's kind of foaming up on the skin. Feels pretty good. Let's try this out. Hey, it sounds really good. These razors not too bad. Scared me for a second. Ooh, I actually kind of like the way it pulls on the skin a little bit, just like it's it's a smooth tug. Taking these sideburns off. Ooh, I kind of like that. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like this razor. I got it for like uh, 50 bucks. Ooh, that's nice. I don't know if it's just the soap itself or what. The one the other day, oh man, that razor sucked. Why does it shave like so much? Look at that, nice and smooth. Man, this is a really nice razor. I can hear the sound, and I tell you, this is nice. All right, guys, are we ready for round number two? We got most of this off that first pass. Pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, I'll shave your beard too. <laughs> oh, that uh, it always feels so nice and smooth. On the second, on the second icing. <laughs> Make sure we get all of our tattoos. There you go. Damn, there's still quite a bit of, of soap in here. I feel like you'd get a thicker. Just put it on your face like this. You can... I like that part. Now, I'm pretty sure it's obvious to most of you guys. I'm over lathering just for the sake of these videos. I feel like it kind of really gives the feel of the soap. So, um, if you were wondering. I'm a extreme latherer right here. All right, now go past number two. Oh, I really like this razor. Wow. Your favorite? I don't know. It's gonna. It's competing with the metaphor at this point. Wow. Yeah. That's smooth. I'm standing next to you, and I know this is good too. By hearing the sound of it. Oh wow! I mean, it just mm. feels so good. Uh, it's really hard to explain. Like. How does a razor feel good? But it... I think it's about the weight and the material. My bird in the background. I believe you like for the bird. The bird lives off likes and the seed. And seeds and likes. All right. We got some bubbles on my ears. Eh, it's alright. Get the reducer. Wow, that comes out quick. Alright, I like this thing. Oh, she's big. Oh, cuddles. It's my little bird. My little bird. Wow, that stuff's like on fire. Ooh, it smells pretty good. Usually, really really follows up that um the actual shave soap with it smell this smell this yeah i like it yeah that's actually really good man i'm gonna tell you hub city you turned it around for me i was kind of thinking at first when i got this i was like man i made the wrong choice this buying is the this. best one 
This is a really good scent. I well, actually really like the uh, aftershave. Yeah, the aftershave really turned this guy around. The soap kind of freaked me out. I don't know if I got an old. Uh, uh, hear my bird barking. Warning! Anywhere you're from the bird. Yeah, uh, I kind of thought maybe I got a bad bunk soap. It kind of looked dry around in the uh, in the container, and then it looked kind of funky on the bloom, as you guys saw right there. But it handled really good. Felt nice on the face. Didn't smell weird or anything. And this right here kind of. Saved the day. Really liked the way this smelled. Had a had an actually the burn was a lot. I mean, it was the most burny, the most burny sanded, um, you know, scent we've had so far. My bird's in the background freaking out. So we're gonna go. Hopefully you like this. If you liked it, you like it. You share. You subscribe. Listen, guys, I'm pretty sure you already know how YouTube works. If you don't like it, leave us a comment. You don't like it. Wow, you hear that? You need to explain yourself, I, I guess. <laughs> don't just hey, walk away. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to. You don't have to tell us why you don't like it. You can just I don't like it. it. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. And peace. Negative comment response.